So, it was the equinox a couple of days ago. And when I think of the equinox, I can't help but think about my, my friends, the modern pagans. And trust me, there's no love lost between me and the modern pagans. The international left-hand path organization I founded is called the Sect of the Horn God for multiple reasons. And getting at the primal roots of this path is one of those reasons. Thus, history is important. And the only way for you to get the full scope of any practice or path is by understanding where and how it began. In my opinion, it's like it would be like coming into the middle of a movie. Sure, you might enjoy the remainder of the film, but it would all make much more sense if you saw it from the very beginning. Now, of course, we can't go back in time and witness the origins of the left-hand path or the occult firsthand, but we do have history. We have history to rely upon, or we did because there's this horrible trend by those with an agenda of altering history to fit their contemporary view of the world. It's called presentism. Over the years, I've made it clear on this channel my opinion of modern paganism and especially modern druidism. It's bullshit. There was never a society of tree-hugging, flower-picking hippies in the ancient past because, guess what? That tribal or societal group would have been wiped out of existence quickly, leaving nothing for posterity. The primate creature that we are, called human, is a savage beast. Its ways are territorial and bloody and even more so, they were even more so in the past. Thus, death was a constant companion. So just because the past fucks with your modern sensibilities, it doesn't mean you have the right to try and change it. And this brings us to Hollywood. Norse culture and mythology are a part of the sect of the horn god through Odin, that very dark god of the left-hand path. So, when I see this, a Viking Jarl played by a black woman, now this has nothing to do with fucking racism, because on this path, the race or skin color of an individual does not matter because the soul has no color. But this has everything to do with an honest and truthful representation of the past, which is important because most people know very little when it comes to history, and that's a shame. They don't know that the historical character she played called Yara Hakan was actually a male he was white and was already dead by the time the events of the series took place. They see this, this woman and think, sure, that's the way it was. In the comments section of another channel, I got into a debate with an individual who was defending this alteration of history by stating that the show was still exciting and fun and it didn't matter that they fucked up with the history because if he wanted a history lesson, he'd be back in school. My argument to him was, okay, then why, why don't they have the Vikings riding jet skis? That would make it more exciting. I understand taking liberties with characters or timelines for thematic purposes to make the story flow. Hell, an award-winning film like Braveheart might as well have had dragons in it. The history is so screwed up. But altering it in an attempt to right some historical wrong, well, guess what? You can't right that wrong. It happened. History happened. And turning druids into hippies, tearing down statues, or switching white Norse male jarls for black females isn't going to change it. Isn't going to make it better. 
It's just going to make it more confusing, convoluted, and give people a false representation of what once was.